sometimes I wake up in my warm down sleeping bag and I'll think I'm at home and then I'll hear like the tent start flapping in the wind or an avalanche rumbling by and I'm like, oh my God, where am I? Like, am I on the side of a hill or on the side of a mountain? My name is Jimmy Chin and I'm a photographer, a climber, skier, nomad, explorer, troublemaker. I'd say it's pretty much impossible to define what I do. I've tried, but I don't even know what I do. There's no job description. The success of an expedition comes down to the details. Light is so critical. It's the difference between you know being able to ski a line or having to down climb back where you came from. Something that could be really easy all of a sudden becomes really, really dangerous. You know, you're going for 20 days at half rations at altitude in the cold, you're in like serious caloric debt, and you're practically hallucinating. Oh, weaknesses. I definitely have a lot of weaknesses. I can have patience problems. <laughs> I'm terrible with dealing with unnecessary bureaucracy or handling some guy who I know is extorting money from us at some checkpoint that is just like put up by him and his bros in the middle of some road. Like, don't put me out there because I'll get us in trouble. A few years ago, my friend Conrad Anchor started the Kumbu Climbing School. And there's been a lot of kind of unnecessary fatalities on the mountain with Sherpas because they didn't have really good training. It's a way to uh, give back something. It's been amazing to see some of the students at the Kumbu Climbing School progress and evolve and uh, really become good climbers. A lot of the places I go, people haven't had the same opportunities and they live in poverty and they have nothing, yet they've got beautiful families and they're totally living fulfilled lives and, uh, you know, I aspire to that. I'm always going to be climbing and skiing and surfing and getting out and shooting. I'll do that until the day I die. <laughs>